summer. I know you'll be out for the summer. But It'll be after the summer. We have to book it. We have to book it. What are you going to say? <laughs> we're here. We're here, we're here in Corpus Christi Airport. And we're having something to eat. We're headed for Leavenworth, Washington for the Christmas holidays. And we'll see you after a while. Crocodile. A bit to eat. We just checked out of our hotel room. What's mama doing back there putting her lipstick on and stuff? Uh, we're headed to the North American Bigfoot Museum. I'm gonna go check that place out, show a couple clips of that. What's happening over there, Joe? Uh, that guy's listening to his music. Then we got my pilot over here, and we'll check you all out later. See it? Huh? It's disgusting banana. Like all black. Look, let me look at this thing right here. And uh. Huh? Huh? What? I don't know what I mean. And uh, one of my games on the Xbox thing that basically. Been Okay. There's an ancient fish right there. Oh, cool. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That. Huh? Okay, so we're going to go back. Oh, fish. Okay, four times five is 20. Get this down a little bit. It's funny, I advertise all this stuff, but nobody seemed to know about it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Facebook. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, and then when you're a 
Facebook because I've got 40,000 followers. Oh. So. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're one of them. Oh, thank <laughs> yeah, you. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, appreciate definitely. That. Cool. All right, well, you enjoy it. If you have any questions at all, just your head out, let me know. All right. Okay? Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. You know, Bigfoot's fixed. He's got one nub. This is, this is Jacob's natural hand. This, right is, only, this is only his adolescent stage. This is the adolescent stage. <laughs> so then look at the Bigfoot butt print. Is that what that is? It looks like legs. It looks like a legs. No one's cheeks are that spread out. <laughs> no, no one's cheeks are like this. He sounds angered. Angered Bigfoot. Angered Bigfoot, scary Bigfoot.
Ask him what you wanted to ask him. You ask him. Well, stand right here so I can video you. <laughs> Good video me. He, want, he would like to know what about skinwalkers. What do you know about skinwalkers? I know they're, they're scary. And um, they have skin. Uh, what I, I don't know that much. I've, I've, of course, been on the Navajo Reservation down in British or in, um, New, New Mexico and uh, Arizona. Um, and they have a strong belief in skinwalkers. From what I understand, and I've interviewed a number of people who have seen these things. From what I understand, uh, it's some sort of dark magic sort of thing where they act, you actually have to initiate yourself into it by murdering a family member, of all things, and then you earn the right to become a skinwalker, which is some sort of shape-changer sort of thing, like like a lycanthrope or some werewolf sort of thing. Um, and Or sometimes they're just described as old men or women or young women, well, not usually young, but middle-aged or older men or women who put on um, wolf skins and they go about and they curse people and they, they generally cause uh, mischief That's what and that I was sort of you. stuff. Mm -hmm. But like really dark mischief, not like yeah. I'm gonna tie your shoelaces together. <laughs> but like I'm gonna do something that causes your baby to die. Things yeah. like that. Like wow. really heavy dark magic That's pretty stuff. heavy stuff. Yeah, so that's what I know about skinwalkers. I do a podcast with Bobo, and we interviewed um, a witness of a skinwalker, um, and she and she's a Navajo woman. She told us what she knew about them. So, oh, thank you. Scary Spooky. stuff. Again. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Spooky. Stuff huh? that I don't want to mess with. Spooky. Yeah. <laughs> what cast? We. We uh, got this one last time. Okay, the 82 Grace Harbor mm -hmm. cast. Uh -huh. um, where's the one that you were talking about? The, the one with the, the fingernail or the toenail? Oh, this one has a toenail visible. This is an interesting cast too. This is actually Goliath, which is the same individual Sasquatch that uh, left that far print down below, the very, very large one. Mm -hmm. But what most people don't realize is that the shape of the footprint is not the shape of the foot. It's the shape of the damage done to the ground by the foot. So the footprint can be elongated or larger, much larger than the actual foot that made wow. it. Um, this is probably much closer to the size of the foot that made it. And, um, the guy almost didn't even cast this because like one of the toes didn't register. It has five toes, so one of the toes didn't register, which is kind of a testament to how flexible their feet are. And on this toe, and this, this one too, but this one you can actually see the toenail right there. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, it is kind of nuts. Um, the original has dramatic lithics all over it, and you can find hints of it on this first generation copy, like right here, for example. If you look very, very closely, you can see some parallel lines in there. Um, those are, or right here too, those are dramatic skin. lithics. Yeah, skin, skin ridge detail, yeah. like fingerprints. But you can't call them fingerprints because they're on the bottom of the foot. But you can't call them footprints because that means something else. So we use the Greek term, which is dramatic lithics. So. He could use a shave, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a foot shave. More like an entire yeah, body shape. Yeah. <laughs> you need some waxing. Yeah, plain as day, I mean, there's the, there's the nail right there. Also, can you use a pedicure, manicure? Mm. Hey, look at my fingers. <laughs> the head off. Okay, well, that one. Is that one? Oh, it is. It's one. Okay, I'm going to see. Yeah. It's a fish. See this? You know what this is? <laughs> It's a, a fish. fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that, oh, is that right there? It's a prehistoric fish. It's a prehistoric? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, a crowd of Bigfoots. Oh, God. A crowd of Bigfoots. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have a plan. <laughs> large animals that were discovered at the times they were discovered. Um, this is kind of show that on the animals are being discovered all the time. You know, very unexpected yeah. things. A new species of orangutan was discovered in 2017, for example. Wow. wow. You know? It kind of show, it gives you some context. Like, we think we're all that, but actually we're, we're, we're kind of very primitive in our science even still, even in the knowledge of what lives alongside of us. So the idea that something like a Sasquatch cannot exist is ludicrous, honestly. Yeah. Because when you look at the dates that some of these things were discovered. Yeah. 
the huh. world's largest primate was discovered in what, 1902, I believe. Wow. The world, uh, except for Sasquatches, yeah. the, the largest recognized primate, the mountain gorilla. A grizzly polar bear hybrid in 2006. Mm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's see your early flower. Yes, yeah, so the idea that Sasquatches couldn't exist because we know about them by now. That's a, that's a position of <laughs> right. Was it? And you know. wasn't that fish was believed to be extinct as well, right? Yeah, the, for two, 20 yeah. million years. It's yeah. called the coelacanth, and it yeah. turns out that there was an ichthyologist, which is a scientist that studies fish. She was in Indonesia, um, I think 1920 something. It's on here somewhere, but uh, um, we discovered 1938. My mistake. 1938. Yeah, there's an ichthyologist going through a fish market in, um, in in Madagascar, and she sees one of these fish. She goes, "That looks strangely familiar." And like she bought it and started studying the bones, and she goes, "This is a coelacanth. <laughs> we know these from the fossil record only." And, and so she went back to the to the fish market and she started asking the local people who says, "Oh yeah, yeah, we call these things. Yeah, we make, we eat those." Okay. Oh, well. goes, what? <laughs> what? You know, and then she paid to get a couple more, and like the, the coelacanth was rediscovered. Oh, wow. And then it turns out that um, later on, I think in the 1990s, if my memory serves correctly, they discovered another population of these things in Indonesia, some thousand miles away or something wow. like that. So now we know of two viable populations of coelacanth fish. There are probably others. Yeah, but we don't right, know. Right. And these things are big. That's a little tiny one. Yeah. We actually have a line on a fish mount for one of these things. It's supposed to come in hopefully in the next six months. Yeah, they are this huge. big. Wow. Like these things are a huge fish. Um, wow. They're huge. They don't, it's not like they live 6,000 feet underneath the surface. Man, they're, you know, they're 120 feet under the surface. Yeah. They're not that far down. And like the, again, the local people. You want to know what lives in an area, you go to the native people there. Yeah. And then they, yeah, we call them this, we eat them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you, well, you want to know what lives here, you go to the native people, you go to the Coast Salish people, you go to the Chinooks, you go to the, the, the Yakima people and ask them, hey, do Sasquatches live here? And they go, yeah. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> you know? And, and really think about Dang it from their sweet. perspective. Like, we, like, they think, you don't know about the biggest, smartest, fastest, coolest thing in the woods. And you're trying to tell us how to manage our fisheries? Oh, exactly. <laughs> That's great. We highly recommend visiting the North American Bigfoot Museum, just a short drive from Portland, Oregon. Cliff is very informative about Bigfoot. I do recommend asking questions. Cliff has a wealth of knowledge on many subjects, not only Bigfoot related, but other creatures as well. Well, this is your second time, so it's been yeah. pretty cool in there, right? Yeah, Bigfoot's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a nub. He's got, He's got a, nub. a nub. He's got a nub. He's like Jacob. He's got a nub. <laughs> As you can see, they're the same species. <laughs>